Well, Jason, thanks. Tonight, a crackdown on exhibition driving over the weekend leaves three men behind bars and residents in the Greymont neighborhood where it happened say they are glad police are taking action. WBTM 13's Gladys Batista joins us live tonight in downtown Birmingham. And Gladys, you spoke to people today who say they're hopeful that this will help curb the exhibition driving crowds on the weekends. Yeah, Sherry Jarvis in the Greymont neighborhood today. People we spoke to say they either hear the exhibition driving or see the aftermath. That's why they're hopeful that this exhibition driving operation that took place over the weekend can help curb that late night racing. Skid marks on 3rd Avenue West in the Greymont neighborhood give a glimpse into what residents say weekends on this corner look like. Demetrius Young is the co-owner of Designers T-shirts and Sports Apparel, a business that has been here for nearly 30 years. This is a very busy area at night and in the daytime, so uh, yeah, it could be very dangerous with them doing that. These pictures a resident sent us show what it looks like when the business is closed for the weekend. Crowds of people and those who live in the neighborhood say they hear the sounds of engines revving throughout the night. Something that just started, um, I don't know much about it, but I do, just do see the skid marks uh, in the road. And uh, once I saw on Facebook, I realized what was going on. It's an area Birmingham police paid close attention to this past weekend, leaving three vehicles impounded, an illegal gun off the street, and landing three men behind bars. BPD says officers were called to this portion of 3rd Avenue West around 1045 Saturday night for reports of exhibition driving. Police say a man was arrested in the parking lot of a business on this corner for illegally carrying a firearm. He has not yet been identified. Officers also arrested Trevante Todd and Demetrius Kelly in separate incidents, both for outstanding warrants in Birmingham. Young says while he isn't here overnight, he deals with the aftermath. Garbage cans outside, but they're, they're not help when it concerns uh, the group of people that are come out here racing because they don't put trash in the garbage can. And while he doesn't mind the crowds outside his business, he hopes those taking part can make better choices. No one can control a car once it get out of control, so I just wish they would not do it. Now, Young touched on it a little bit there that no one can control a car when it's going that fast. After several deadly accidents, state lawmakers actually voted to ban exhibition driving back in May. We're live at the Birmingham Police Headquarters for you tonight. I'm Gladys Bautista, WVTM 13.